There are no more kids in the candle world. Once mom says it's time to go, that's it. There's nothing on for the holidays. There's definitely no getting your laundry done. They will separate. They will never see each other again. And that's the way they like it. 22 deaths, 23. In the wild, pandas live between 15 and 18 years. So we don't expect her to have another cub. We, we, think she, we didn't expect her to have this one. We're going to see her get progressively more aggressive with him and push him away and not allow him to So the question I've got is what do they do different that makes them mate? Um, it's actually, it's, it's pretty much up to the female. Our first male had problems with his sense of smell. So he never really knew when she was in estrus and that was more his issue. And so we did do artificial insemination with the first cub. But then Shin Shin went back to China. We sent him back and that's when we got Gao Gao. Gao Gao has never had a problem the bears. Um, actually, adult pandas have no natural predators, but the babies do. The babies, some of the big cats, yeah, um, some of the big cats in, in the Chinese forest, and also the adult male pandas have been known to attack and kill the cubs. The males and females separate immediately after mating, and the males have nothing to do with the cub whatsoever. Excuse me? They don't have to worry about, they have no natural predators when they're of a certain size, because they can be ferocious. They can, yeah. And and the other the other animals in the forest know that. Yeah, definitely still there. So the cow gal at 170 is definitely small. And this little guy in the first enclosure takes after death. Are you looking for? Let's put it this way: the female panda will go into us just once a year, as long as she's not nursing. He weighs 55 pounds, um, and he lives with mom because he is still nursing. He's going to nurse until he's around 18 months old, at which point mom is going to wean him and then she's going to kick him out. There are no boomerang kids in the panda world. Once mom says it's time to go, it really is time to go. They will separate, they will never see each other again, and that's the way they like it. Because in fact, in the wild, um, they like a personal space of between three and seven square miles. None of these bears belong to us. They all belong to China, and our agreement with China is that once our cubs get to be a breedable age, between three and five, that no one sends them to China to be part of the managed care breeding program. And what do they eat? Nope, they eat bamboo. Uh, koalas eat either, either of this. <coughs> and mama here eats between 25 and 30 pounds of bamboo every single day.